time is now midnight, and you're listening to The Sound Experiment on Indiana Public Radio. WBST Muncie, WBSB Anderson, WBSW Marion, WBSJ Portland, and WBSH Hagerstown, Newcastle. My name is Dan Crawl. I'm a senior at Ball State University, and I host a show on Indiana Public Radio called The Sound Experiment. We're going to hear his work, Analog Number no. One, Noise Study. Well, the Sound Experiment is a program that's on every Sunday at midnight, and it's about experimental Anyone music. The work by the Australian composers Julian Knowles and Rick Rue. And each show has a variety of experimental music, which is music that's kind of hard to classify. People may wonder how the sounds of industry would inspire a musician or recording artist. You know, there's experimental rock, modern composition, which some may call experimental classical, experimental techno, where the beats don't match up or line up in any way, you can't dance to it. There's really a lot of different kinds of music that could be called experimental, mainly music that's just kind of breaking the rules and isn't traditional in its composure. Matt Gonzalez used to write for The Sound Experiment. I, a big music fan. I've been writing about music for a couple of different websites for about a year and a half now. A lot of people would even argue that it's not music. He actually did give me a, a bit of a boost as to approach explaining experimental music as it's not always the easiest thing to do. I think the more the way we think is more along the lines of the way experimental music is composed because I don't think we think in a beat necessarily and while harmony and timbre and pitch are really nice to have in music, it's not always necessary. To me, it evokes this sort of, like, joyous reaction from the listener who's willing to give it a chance. Hello, how you doing? This is a flyer for my radio show. It's on Sundays at midnight. Open-mindedness is the key to enjoying this kind of music. And it's taking a risk. It's experimental, and oftentimes this risk ends up sounding a lot better than music that maybe took five years to put together. He just keeps hitting the pavement every, every week, as far as I know, and um, I know I've run into him on several occasions on campus. People don't want to be challenged, they want to be entertained. But some people do want to be challenged, and that's, those are the people that the sound experiment is um, meant for. Music that requires the listener to give it a chance. And that's the kind of music that Dan plays. It's not the kind of music that you can listen to and just enjoy effortlessly. I mean, it requires an active effort on the part of the listener. I'm Brian Eckstein. It's 18 minutes past 8 o'clock. Dan crawls with me. We're fundraising The Sound Experiment, a program with music that you don't normally hear on the radio. What, what's that all about? The whole reason I do it is so that people will listen. I want people to be able to hear the show and, in, and enjoy the fact that there is something new out there or something different, however they want to look at it. I'm going to be just really sad to, to see him go uh, because, because I'm going to lose such a great guy, but I know he's going to go off and do excellent okay. where, wherever he goes, so I wish him luck. Chance, one chance, do you get everything right? My friends, my friends.